Okay, here's everything that came in the box. Got the ground clamp, got the torch here, got a couple extra consumables. And this is what the plug looks like there. And they got a pigtail to go from here to the 110. And this piece goes, I'm not sure yet, but it's an extra piece. And these are up here. Okay, let's get started in setting this thing up. I'm gonna go ahead and plug this in. This is the end I'm gonna use for this demo. Hook these up. And the air hose is gonna go back here. Okay, we'll go ahead and connect the torch first. So we're gonna hook up these three connections to the front of the machine. And then this fitting goes right in here. And then this piece here will get connected here. You just gotta loosen that up. And sandwich it. There's a little notch right here, and this little notch is going to line up with the notch down there. There's only three prongs, so just plug it right in there and then secure it. I'll go ahead and crank this down with a crescent wrench here. There we go. This piece is just going to go right in here. Just give that a crank there, make sure that's tight. Okay, then the ground clamp goes right up here. Okay, got a little demo piece to uh, practice on here. Just an old lawnmower blade. Okay, for cutting that mower blade, the pressures I went with, because I'm using 120 volts, so I went 120 is 30 to 50 PSI, it tells you right there, which is really nice. And then I just went max, almost the max amps on that. And then this is for the air too. So in order to adjust that, just take it, and you can turn it either way, up or down. This adjusts this. I'm using my old Craftsman air compressor, 150 PSI, three horsepower, uh, 15 gallon air compressor. Seemed to do the trick. Uh, didn't didn't run out of air. I had it running the whole time. It's an old compressor, but I was afraid it wasn't going to be big enough. But using the 120 volts uh, uh, settings, it works great. So it cut through this mower blade pretty easy. Um, you know, a little bit slower than than I expect, but it still cut through it just fine and uh, I'm gonna see if I can cut some shapes out next but that thickness right there is probably about the thickest that you can cut with the uh, 120 running the 120 so with the 120 this is the configuration I'm using I wouldn't be using a normal plug if I was gonna go with the 240 I plug it in right here to the socket rated for 240 so if you run the 240 of course that's going to uh, increase the amount 240 volts going to increase the amount of air pressure you're going to want to run that's just 30 to 70 psi if you're going with 240. okay if this thing stops cutting good you might need to change the consumables in here so how you do that is just unscrew it right here Just replace those two items there. I had to get some pliers to just give that a little tug just to help that out a little bit. It was it was uh, wrench tight in there. I'll just get a new piece, a couple new pieces right there. Okay, we get that in there tight and then this piece here just screws right down into there. I recommend you get uh, extra set of consumables here. You can get these and and however many you want to pay for. So this set had oh ten or so in there, which is uh, we'll see how long that lasts. But it's PCS 22 is the name. 
or this kit that goes along with it. Consumable kit.